This guy went to the extreme ends of the earth to do the most violent thing he could do. And just as shocking as the murder, the discovery of the monster who done it. He was a model citizen in a lot of ways. He was very gentle and thoughtful. It blows our minds. Nobody deserved to die the way Trisha Todd did. Least of all, Trisha, a joy to her family from the day she was born. She's just a really lovely little girl. A dream daughter and sister with seven brothers. She was actually one of my best friends growing up. Her personality was very vibrant, outgoing. She was the life of the party. <laughs> Trisha was also a great mom to her two-year-old daughter, Faith. How are you? How are you? And Trisha had always been a good wife to Stephen Williams, a childhood sweetheart she'd known since elementary school. They were in high school together. And they would remain inseparable. They both joined the Air Force, and they got together there and got married. But after 11 years of marriage, Trisha and Stephen finally decided to go their separate ways and get divorced very amicably. They did it in such a peaceful way that um, I was really proud of her. Trisha left the Air Force and moved with daughter Faye to Hope Sound, Florida, to be close to her family and to become a registered nurse. She was living with her brother Joshua. Then, less than three months after the divorce, Trisha, 33, suddenly disappeared. It first came out as a missing persons, just a normal mom that um, didn't come home one night. Trisha's family had notified the local sheriff's department that Trisha was missing after she failed to show up at the hospice where she was working. We went by her house to try to figure out what was going on. We see her car there, her purse in the seat, and then it was like a twilight zone. It was like Trisha had vanished into thin air. Nobody had heard from her, nobody had seen her. There was no activity on any of her bank accounts or credit cards or cell phones. But cops would soon find this security video showing Trisha shopping at a local grocery store on the night of her disappearance. The items that she bought at the grocery store were at the residence. The lights were on in the residence, and we had a witness say that he saw her leaving that evening driving her car. Cops learned through Trisha's cell phone records that she had gone to see her ex, Stephen, who had traveled to Hope Sound from his air base in North Carolina to spend a week with their daughter. The baby was not feeling well, so he called her and asked her to come over. Faith fell asleep, and she left. He said, I thought she went home. Stephen told police Trisha was supposed to have picked up Faith the next morning, but never did. So he left the child with the babysitter and returned to his base. Where did she go? We couldn't come up with any answers. Until investigators make some surprising discoveries, including Trisha's love for a new man she just met in Hope Sound. She was obsessed with him. She loved everything about this man. In fact, she actually writes about him in her online journal. But in one of her entries, she indicates there could be trouble in her newfound paradise. Writing in part, this painful love affair, it's a Pisces and Scorpio thing. Are you happy? I've never had a deep blue love affair with the true Scorpio that didn't feel this way. Could this be the clue that will lead cops to Trisha? They are on his tail. We followed this guy everywhere, and we hope maybe Trisha Todd would show up at wherever he was. Next, Trisha does show up, but in little pieces, after being mutilated by a man nobody would have guessed was a savage killer. He was laying a web of deceit into our ears. 